Hello, welcome to the Taurus 37. Uh, please excuse my voice, excuse my voice. Um, I think I'm developing a bit of a cold, that's why I'll probably be drinking uh, some drink during this video. And uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this really quickly. Some new footage has dropped for Captain America Civil War. Uh, they've released a new TV spot. <coughs> And it contains new footage of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. So, um, you know, that's amazing. And that was not actually supposed to be referenced, and I just realized it was. <laughs> um, but it's a lot like that of the um, appearance of Spider-Man in the first trailer, or the second trailer. Only this is a bit different. This is actually really cool. And instead of, like, just mentioning his web swinging, this actually shows him kind of swinging on his webs. <clears throat> And I, you know, it's got a comic book feel to it, but it also reminds me a lot of the Ramsey trilogy, uh, Sam Ramsey, I think I'm getting the same, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I really, really love those movies, and I just watched the original one last night. Um, I'm trying to watch all of those previous Spider-Man movies before I watch Civil War, but, you know, I'm really excited, I mean, it looks like how he swings his web when he swings in, in the TV spot, you should go watch it right now, it is super amazing, and it just reminds me a lot of kind of how they had Spider-Man swinging style in some of those movies, and, you know, I mean, I like the Andrew Garfield series, but to me, they never really touched that much on the web swinging, more of the stuff they did was kind of like, you know, the crawling and other stuff like that, but, you know, um, be really it was, like, to me, I always liked the Ramsey version a lot better in any capacity. But I really like the web swinging kind of design, how he swings on his webs. And they just kind of, to me, captured this perfectly, especially from the comics as well, in that scene. And uh, it's really cool because Spider-Man's fighting Weir Soldier, and Weir Soldier goes to me, like, blocks a bunch of these. It's like, whoa, dude, you have a metal arm? That's awesome. And, you know, I mean, it's kind of funny because Spider-Man is, like, forgetting this is even a fight. And he's just, like, freaking out because of all the cool geeky stuff going on here. And that's what really shows is this is going to be the best version of Spider-Man. And um, a lot of people were really annoyed at his very, uh, voice at first, but his voice is pretty good in the trailer. Like, I mean, it's not, like, annoying. And a lot of people were comparing his voice to that of Justin Bieber's, and it does sound a little teenager-ish, but it is supposed to. You know, Spider-Man is 15 in these films, or supposed to be 15 in these films. So, you know, I mean, he's not going to have a very manly voice. Um, but, you know, it's not that bad, and to be honest, I mean, it's actually kind of a catchy voice. I mean, it's like, to me, Garfield has had, Andrew Garfield had one of the worst Spider-Man voices. I mean, he just, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't want to sound rude, because, you know, I, sh I should be respectful. Uh, there's people who don't like Tobey Maguire, and there's people who like Andrew Garfield, and there is people who like Tobey Maguire. I'm one of those people, but I just didn't like Andrew Garfield that much. And, you know, even Tobey Maguire didn't really kind of like a... Uh, he had good Spider-Man voice, just the problem with his Spider-Man voice, same way with Andrew Garfield, it blended into their Peter Parker voices. So, you know, um, it kind of looks like maybe Tom Holland might have a different voice, just, I don't know, his voice kind of squeaky, can't wait to see how they do it. Either way, ugh. It was really cool, and uh, it's just really awesome footage. You should go watch it. It doesn't actually reveal too much about the movie either, so unless you just don't want to see Spider-Man in this movie, it's not really going to spoil the entire film for you. Or, you know, like, in the TV spot. Like, unless you're waiting to see him in the film. Um, but, you know, it's really cool. It's a really nice trailer, and I really like it. It's just kind of fun to see Spider-Man geek out. There's also a reference um, that I won't talk about in this movie, or this video, but there's a reference to Star Wars, apparently, that Spider-Man makes during one of the scenes of the movie, and I will talk about that later in a video I'm about to make after this. Um, hopefully I'll make that. I'm not really sure if I will, but I think I will. But either way, Spider-Man looks amazing. Tom Holland is said to be the best actor we've ever seen on screen. To be honest, after this trailer, I might actually start believing that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to watch the film to really believe he's the best Spider-Man. Uh, but it does look good. I won't lie. I really like what they're doing. And also, his web shooters, they're not like, um, you know, classic web shooters. This is kind of like what looks like one of those smart bands, and it just swings out. So it's really cool. He's got, like, tiny web shooters, like wristwatch web shooters. Not like anything, you know, kind of bigger, big, or not like Garfield's how they were these are just like a kind of like small band and that's really cool because you know you think they would have to be pretty small not to be noticeable but yet be really cool and it just looks really how they're doing this so you know i can't wait to watch that and um you know cannot wait for this movie i think it is like i don't know what day it is oh it is april 26 well the movie is out in like 10 days and i cannot wait for this so um also keep watching more tv spots might come out more footage of spider-man so um yeah thanks for watching please rate like and subscribe and goodbye